went to three. I went to the Goodwill. I went to um, one of the church-based organizations that I go to. This one's called MAN, and it's here in the neighborhood. It's not, uh, you know, too far from me. And then I wound up going kind of far anyway because I hadn't gotten enough. I got two things that I really, really liked. I was real pleased with them. But uh, two things is just not enough for me, so I decided to keep going, and I drove about probably about 20 miles out of my uh, neighborhood uh, to another couple of stores that I really like. And I'll start with some random stuff I got. I got these crazy socks. Uh, they're brand new. They're super thick. They have flames. At first, I kind of liked them for my uh, son who lives in Chicago, and uh, I thought he could use them, but then I saw that they're for... They're a smaller size, so I decided to give them to my daughter, and I thought they would look kind of cool with her Doc Martens, you know, kind of sticking out, sort of a boot topper. So they're just little flames. They're really thick. They're by uh, Red Lion, and it says they're made in the USA, so pleased with that. Then I got her some more socks, some knee-high socks, and these are halloween theme, also brand new. 99 cents. Those were one of these were a dollar 91, and the other one was 99 cents. I forget which is which, but regardless, they were both new, and these were really pretty. I thought because yes, they're Halloween, they're orange, they're black, but they're argyle, so they're not like blatantly, you know, Halloween, but they still have the the nice little orange and black uh, motif there, the color. So I thought they were really cool, and like I said, she's got a collection of black boots. She doesn't like open toe shoes, so she wears nothing but boots and Converse and things like that. Then I got the North Face uh, little Scully cap. This was $3, and you know, the North Face is a really expensive brand. I, um, I'm outdoors quite a bit uh, in the summer or the, or the winter when I uh, walk around the, the camp, the camp or the compound at our clinic. Uh, kids like to walk around quite a bit, so I like to have my head covered, and uh, I just thought this one was really nice. It's got a nice little, um, what do you call it, uh, felt, I guess, lining, so it doesn't irritate the ears. Uh, kind of orange-red with some peach on it. It's really cute, and it looks uh, brand new as well. i going to wash it anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. Then I got this little, um, this is a cotton towel, and I have actually bought these on Etsy, and I knit myself, so I know that, you know, something like this would probably take about two or three hours to knit, and uh, this has a nice little design. I can't quite tell if it's a flower or a butterfly or what. I think it's a pot with a flower. Maybe you can see it. But these are really nice dish towels. This is the best dish towel you will ever use. This is made of 100% cotton, and they're sold just for that. They dry fantastically. We wash dishes with them. And uh, like I said, I've bought them for, I think, like probably about 2 or $3 a piece, maybe even $4 a piece. I don't recall. But uh, they're not cheap, and, and they shouldn't because they are a lot of work. This one was $2, and I was happy to get another one because mine are getting kind of dingy, and I really like this red color. That's uh, that. Then I got me some more. Uh, we got us some more uh, pantyhose and tights. This is hunter green. One of these is hunter green. This is blue. This is sort of a blue, this is a deep hunter green, and this is a little dusty rose, and they're all uh, medium or uh, size AB, which it will fit me or my daughter. And she's the one that really likes to wear tights as well when it gets chilly. So those were 99 cents, really good deal on those. Then I got, let's go to some jewelry. I got a really cute ring, I can't remember if I paid five or six dollars for this but it's sterling silver actually this was 750 but it's sterling silver it's marked sterling and thailand i really like it it's got it's bold and it's got um, mother of pearl and um abalone i think it's pretty pretty nice it's it's very impactful yet it's not quite you know in the way so i can wear it during work. I like to wear jewelry all the time and and um, you know I like rings with some statement. I like them to speak 
out loud. And uh, so that was a good deal there. I like that a lot. Then I've got another plastic uh, black rose. I don't know if you saw the last one I got, but my daughter yanked it right out of my hands and it protruded quite a bit more than this one. It stood up quite a bit taller. This is a little bit flatter and this one was only a dollar. So um, I like this one a lot. Perfect size on the ring finger there. And uh, then what else did we get from jewelry? I also got a cute little, um, I guess it's sort of a perfume flask and it's sterling silver. It's got a really nice chain and it's just kind of attached there. Uh, it can't be, you know, slid in and out. Very, very hefty. And it opens up, screws on and opens up and then I guess you can put uh, perfume because uh, it's not a spoon and you know what those are for but uh, yeah I really like this nice and hefty nice long chain I haven't showed it to her yet I'm sure she'll really like it um, and I believe this one was about three dollars let me see what it says here hmm four ninety two oh well that was cute. Then I got this little baby bracelet. And I'm thinking, this is so pretty. It's crystal. I really wanted it for me. It's crystal beads, but it's a baby bracelet. And then it's got two little charms, which I may pull out of there. It's a little crucifix and um, some kind of holy metal. I, don't, I think it's got the Blessed Mother on there. Yes, with a heart. And they're both marked sterling. One says chapel sterling, which I thought was so interesting. And the other one just says sterling. And uh, like I said, it's just on a little teeny bracelet, crystal beads. And this wasn't very much. This one was $6.50. Well, I guess it was kind of high. But it is sterling, and I thought it was really nice. Then I got a key ring. This was a dollar, and this is also a little religious medal with the Madonna on it as well. And I really like that. I'm gonna put that on my car keys. Then I also got some good buys on the purses. I'll start with this little one, with this big one, and then I'll go to the little one. This one I've actually had before, and I sold it, and I had it in sort of a tobacco brown color. This is more of a chocolate brown and it's that Etne Anye, which uh, they've now diversified into going half half leather and, and half artificial leather. But this one says 100% genuine leather. So the panel is leather. The straps are leather. It's a huge tote bag. It's a great weekender bag. I'm going to keep this one. I kind of regretted selling the other one even though I made you know, a good deal on it and everything because I didn't pay for what's in here. I didn't pay very much for it and uh, I wound up selling it for about $50. But these are really expensive bags. The ones that are all leather are really expensive. They're very sharp looking. I really like it. And it's not a super heavy bag. It's got the uh, logo, the little horseshoe logo on there very very nice looking it is a deeper brown and it's a little bit different styling as well but the shape and the size was just about the same as the one I had sold and I decided to go ahead and keep this one I got this one for $15 I was really excited about it $15 is a giveaway you can't even get a wallet made out of plastic for $15 nowadays so definitely nice doesn't have any feet or anything but uh, it's very very nice uh, bag very soft polished leather, thick leather, pocket in the front. Like I said, this would make a great work bag or a weekender bag. It has the uh, three compartments zippered in the middle. You know, all the requisite pockets and zippers. Nice brown lining with the logo all over it. <clears throat> and of course it has your, uh, your other pockets, cell phone, sunglasses, whatever you want to put in there. And it's brand new, $15. I couldn't believe it. Grabbed it. Then I got, and I saw this just 
from a distance, and I had a feeling it was a good bag, and then I saw it was a Mark Cross. Excuse me for getting over the screen. Mark Cross, and um, you may not be familiar, you may be familiar. Mark Cross is considered the first American luxury goods designer. And uh, his bags, this one actually I just Googled it and saw it on eBay. They're selling one just like it for $69. I got it for $8. I'll put it at my Etsy shop if you guys are interested. I won't sell it for that much. I'll probably sell it for $40. But um, it's a very nice navy. It's called the Herring Herringbone Navy Bag. It's got a very long strap. It's the um, circular round one. And... Um, Mark Cross is also the one that uh, uh, well became really, really famous when uh, the old movie with, um, what's her name, Princess Grace, uh, when she was in a Hollywood star, she came out in a movie called um, Rear Window, and she sports a little overnight trunk, like a little tiny, not quite a trunk, uh, a train case, it's more of a flat, small brief. And that thing became uh, iconic. And they still sell them. They've got a revised uh, version of it for $2,000 on their website right now. And they still you know, produce mass goods. As a matter of fact, mass, uh, very nice leather goods. As a matter of fact, I just saw an article that was speaking about um, what propelled the, uh, the logo craze and the luxury brands that had to splatter their logo all over it and how Mark Cross missed that mark, <laughs> no pun intended, and uh, never actually did that. He just, you know, was very subtle. His um, his logos were very subtle and, and didn't really, you know, get on that bandwagon. So it's really funny that uh, he actually went belly, belly up for a while, but uh, he's uh, never really lost uh, popularity with people who, who like luxury nonetheless. Anyway, this was a nice bag, $8.00. Then I got a cute um, guest dress for my daughter, and this is a zebra print. It's brand new. Uh, it's got satin detail. It's got like a little, uh, I don't know what you would call these little ridges right here, and in satin, zebra print. It's got a little knot in the back. It's from Guess. It was $3.60. It's crazy. That store had all their dresses a little bit higher. I, I was really freaking out because they had, uh, all of a sudden, their, their prices like were spiked up. It's like somebody went in there and just changed all the prices because they're never that expensive. And all their dresses were $9, $10, $12. And then I see a beautiful guest dress, and it's $3.60. They must have missed this one. So I was really happy about that. And uh, she likes it. It's chiffon, zebra print uh, with another little, with a lining, of course. And I love that black bustier like detail on the, on the bodice there. It's really, really pretty. She liked it. She's ready to sport it. Then I got a really cute blazer for work or for looking for a teaching position, which is what I'm out for now. Um, I'm in the process of uh, getting certification, teacher certification here in Texas. So uh, that's the kind of work I'm looking for now. I still teach, uh, but I teach in a clinic setting, and uh, I want to get back in the school system. So I got this really cute blazer, and I think it'll look great at my next interview. This one was $3.90. It's by Joan Leslie the Second. Petite, and I've learned that petites really fit me a lot better in the sleeves. I don't have to worry about rolling them up or hemming them up, so that's what I'm going to start looking for from now on. This is a really pretty tweed-like fabric. It looks kind of blue, but it's purple. It looks blue on the screen, but it's not. It's purple, and it's got pink, and it's got a little turquoise and cream, and um, it's got some real pockets in the front. Kind of small little pocket there, nice purple buttons, four buttons. Then I also got a um, another Ralph Lauren shirt. This is um, this is a 50 linen cotton, and it's really pretty. Not quite a neon, but um, 
just a really pretty, I don't know what color this would be. Maybe a little lime, kind of lime, double pocket, and uh, three-quarter sleeve. Love that. More jeans. I got some Capri jeans by Levi's. And these were the only thing that was half off today. Well, the only thing I found for half off. They had shorts and capris and housewares. Some kind of housewares were half off. And uh, so I got these for about uh, $3. They were marked five sixty. dollars Got them for half of that. Brand new. They're, uh, they're tacked right here, so they're nice and cuffed up. And I think they're really cute. I get to wear um, jeans or shorts on Friday, so I'll be sporting those. Uh, another shirt that I got here is a um, Banana Republic, and it's just a little um, deep rose shade with a little draping on the neckline. I like this for uh, underneath the jacket or just for layering. Then I got another bag. This is a fossil bag, and this one was also $3. This is a nice fabric as well, or material. It's sort of a straw, and then it's trimmed in green leather. And I really like it. It's it's one, a really short strap, but it's it's still very roomy, and it's got sort of a double compartment. It's got a big roomy compartment in, in the front here under the flap. It's got a pocket there, and then in the back it opens up again, so you have another compartment that's also quite roomy back here. I'll probably put this on Etsy too. Uh, it looks like it was barely used. I mean, if there's any wear on it, I think it's just from hanging out at the thrift store because the lining is, is pristine. It really looks good. And this was only $4. $4 fossil bag. Can't beat it. Yeah, and the lining is very clean. It looks brand new. Really, really nice. I like it. I mean, it's cute. Then another blouse. It is um, more of a plum, grayish plum, I don't know. And it's got a really nice detail. This is an H&M shirt. And this was $5.10. That's kind of long. It's one of those sheer blouses, but I thought I would pair it probably underneath that blazer, wherever I put it, probably underneath that blazer or another blazer. That's what I like it for. I like the ruffle. I like to pair something feminine. I like to juxtapose it uh, with when I have something masculine with something feminine. When I have something, you know, um, stark, and then I'll pair it down or tone it down a bit with uh, something neutral and things like that. So that's kind of what I like this for. And that appears to be my haul. I'm sure glad you came back to join me. I'm glad I shared it with you, and I sure hope you come back again. Thank you.